ability to turn it off. Um, and they're interviewing someone who has been the victim of a sexual assault, and that person doesn't want to talk with it being on camera. There, it is a big discussion, and we need to have very specific policies as to when that camera has to be on or when it has to be off, because we don't want to get to a place where we're discouraging people from reporting crimes or being forthcoming with information that we need to be able to investigate what has happened to them and then find you know, the perpetrator. There's also, if um, often people call the police when they're at their worst moment, um, whether it's a mental health crisis, a fight with their partner, whatever it is, we don't want that information to be become public record that's just out there for everybody to see and comment on. So that that's how it could uh, negatively impact the justice system. Also, there are what they call HIPAA violations, which a lot of times we go to medical calls and people are giving medical information to EMTs as they're asking them questions. If you're laying down and the EMTs are asking, you have high blood pressure, you have HIV, do you have hepatitis C? If you're answering those questions, the police officer standing right there with the camera on, obviously all that information is being recorded. That's confidential HIPAA information, and that's violation of the law. To be able to record that and be able to disseminate that to anybody else. So those are there are a lot of legislative changes that need to be made before body cams can be implemented. This is not just a put it on, put push the button and go. It's a it, legislative law that in Salem has to be changed. Uh, there has to be policies implemented that protect the citizens as much as protect the officers. So it's 24 hours surveillance on everybody. So we have to be able to be able we have to be able to do all those things and have the policies in place to protect everybody before you can just slap them on an officer and put them on.